Do you often say yes to a lot of things? You have a hard time delegating or maybe you consider yourself a perfectionist. You could be what one life coach considers an overwhelmed high performer who is close to burnout. CBS 8's Abby Black is working for you and spoke to an author on how you can pull back without feeling like a failure. Abby. Are you one of those workers where you feel like you're carrying the weight of the workplace on your shoulders? You just don't know when to turn it off. I admit I can be one of these people too. We're working for you on how you can reset, gain control, so you don't reach that point of burnout. Overwhelmed high performers are nothing like the new type of worker known as the quiet quitter. Overwhelm in itself is actually future negative fantasizing. It's you're not really present, right? You're already thinking about the future and it's terrible. We spoke to certified life and executive coach and now author Steph Ziv about her motivation to write her first book, The Choice is Yours, a simple approach to live and lead with more joy, ease and purpose. And the opportunity is to come back to center put your feet on the ground, feel your fingertips on that keyboard, and just really come into this present moment. And that's when you can make a better and healthier choice for yourself. We found overwhelm is growing. Job search engine and review site Glassdoor reports the phrase mental health in company reviews jumped 91% from 2019 to 2022. Burnout mentions were up 42% in that same time. This lack of conscious choice, I believe, is causing the rifts and divides in ourselves, in our families, in our communities, and in our nation. In Ziv's book, she outlines five things you can do to regain that control. You have permission to choose. The choice is yours. Secondly, set alarms on your phone so it gives you a chance to change your mood and thought process to something more positive. Zib calls it sitting at the head of the table. So when we set that alarm, there's an opportunity to reset who we're being that's creating our experience and reaching our goals. Ziv also recommends that you don't feel like a failure. You need to communicate your boundaries and also take your space so you can carve out breaks. It is scientifically proven that we need those breaks in order to think, in order to be productive, in order to be better, in order to bring something new to the table. Finally, set intentions. Ziv says by doing this, you can fill your tank so people can get the full version of your rock star self. I think that there is something really important about just being kind to thyself. That's going to actually have a really wonderful ripple effect in the world as well. Working for you, I'm Abby Black, CBS 8. Good advice, Abby. I uh, hope we can all follow some of that. And remember, if there's something that you'd like us to look into, just email us, workingforyou at cbs8.com.